the subracondylar fractures. There are two types, an extension injury, which is common, and flexion injury, which is rare. In the extension injury, which is the most common type, you will get anterior interosseous nerve injury. You cannot do the OK sign, and you treat this nerve injury conservatively. In the flexion injury, you get an under nerve palsy. So you will get sensation deficit in the medial one and a half fingers. Also remember, you can get the under nerve injury from medial pinning. So how do you treat subracondylar fracture of the humerus? Usually you treat it by close reduction and pinning. It is very important before you do the procedure to check the neurovascular status of the extremity. There are several scenarios involved the circulation of the extremity, and you probably need to be familiar with all different scenarios. In pinning, how many pins we use? We use two to three lateral pins. Medial and lateral pins are better than the lateral pins alone, but the medial pins can give you under nerve symptoms. I prefer to make a small opening on the medial side to insert these pins under direct vision. You probably need to remove the pins in three weeks. How about the complication? Usually cubitus varus for malunion, it is a cosmetic deformity. It doesn't affect the function and leave it alone. The most serious complication is Volkerman ischemic contracture. Usually it occurs due compression of the brachial artery when the patient is placed in a cast and hyperflexion to reduce the fracture. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other topics you would like me to cover. Thank you very much.